Bell, the founder and the administrator of the whole project. Three years ago, I held an information session at Garden Farm, right in the recreation center. And my goal was to recruit young people for a very rewarding career as a help desk and application support professional. Four people showed up. Didn't get discouraged. Matter of fact, the same day we had the event, they was also having a very famous basketball tournament. I think this was the day um, um, this guy plays Oklahoma City Thunder. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant was there. So how in the world can I compete with Kevin Durant, right? <laughs> Three years later, Ms. Freeman, thank you, and the folks here at um, Matthews Memorial allowed us to do an information session to recruit young people again. <clears throat> well, 150 young people showed up. I spoke for an hour and 15 minutes about how this program could change a young person's life. And we're talking about 18 to 30 year olds. You guys ever tried to convince them to do anything that lasts more than a day or two? Almost impossible. For an hour and 15 minutes, you can hear a pin drop. No cell phone, no text, nobody getting up, walking out. So why would they want to come to this little neighborhood training program to be a part of something as unique as the whole project? The reason why? Results. I passed around a couple press releases. I apologize for not having enough, but honestly, I didn't think we would have a crowd this large. But there's a press release going around about the, the unique training program that we offer. The program is nine months long. And young people from this program have gone from serving food down at the Smithsonian as a cafeteria worker, from being a uh, clerk at a liquor store, and the majority of them were unemployed. The average starting salary of the students in the whole project is $40,000. These are the people that you see at these bus stops with two kids in a stroller. These are the ones that you see at the good old carry out with their pants down like this and their dreadlocks. They now make in excess of 40 grand a year. And this is their starting salary. That's why the 150 people showed up. I'm a big fan of Jay-Z has this really famous line that says, men lie, women lie, the numbers don't lie. When you can recruit that many young people, to show up for anything, let alone stay for an hour and a half, and have folks sign or try to get in this program throughout the year, we only do the program once a year, is saying something. This is the type of training that I would like to see offered throughout our Washington metropolitan area. Jobs that allow people to start off with a good salary, opportunity for advancement, and it doesn't require you know, anything more than a year. We've done this for three years. The entire program in those three years is 100% Unfunded. You are looking at the funding of the program. When I started the program, my job was to train as many young people as I possibly can to keep them out of jail, keep the young ladies off the strip road, convince young women that you do not have to have three and four and five kids in order to have a place to stay, place to stay, food to eat, and be able to shop. I have a young lady that makes forty-seven thousand five hundred dollars a year. She works at the Department of Commerce. She was on TAM. She did four hundred twenty-eight dollars a month. There's so many stories like that. I tried to put as many as I possibly could in the press release. And then think about the company, Meal Corporation, the Global Support Service. I have young people that work at, at OPM on the health desk. We even allow people that have uh, no GED or high school diploma and ex to participate in the program. Because in D.C., you can be an ex and go and apply for one of these really good government jobs. But guess what? All the jobs they normally send to the people that come home from prison are at um, a cleaning up or they're working at the Department of House. Well, guess what now? We have a young man who's about to go and apply for a tier two health desk to pay $60,000 a year. He has four felonies and three, I'm sorry, four felonies, three, three felonies and six certifications. He used to describe himself as, when I first met him, well, my name is Siegfried Smith and I just came home. This was a year and a half ago. Now if you meet him, if I was to bring him in here, he would describe himself as, I'm Sig Free Smith. I'm a world class IT professional. I own six certifications. And oh, by the way, I've done time before. That's what the whole project is helping other people <coughs> sell. That's what it stands for. My time is up. I have some business cards and also have some uh, <coughs> press releases. <coughs> 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 Mr. Bill, please talk another 10 seconds. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I can talk another 10 seconds. I should probably say, this is <laughs> session here, we only have four slots, because 
the program started in September. I thought I'd give a few more people an opportunity. Well, when 150 people showed up, we decided to bring in nine people. 18 people told in the program. Two of them had full-time jobs when the program started. 14 of them have jobs now doing something in this industry. They've gone through security clearances. They work for really good, viable companies that don't lay people off after two weeks. So if you want to find more about what we're doing, I'm going to leave my business card. I'm going to leave stuff right here because I bought enough. There is a press release going around. Everything on that press release is 100% accurate because men lie, women lie, and numbers don't lie. Wow.